Mummy. What? They're the used car shop. Five AM. Let's do this thing. Let's do this. 5.34 in the a.m. Why am I up so early? Because we have work to do, and this morning I'm kind of heading off on a four hour, I can count. I'm heading off on a four hour car journey this morning at around about nine o'clock or eight o'clock, I can't remember. But what I do know is that it is a funeral that I'm going to. I'm not quite sure on who the person is like in relation to me because I know they're someone related to my mum. Welcome to my Tuesday. Let me explain what I'm doing. The death guy like the look of comes in three sizes, 200 by 60, 220 by 60 and 100. By 60. And of course, I can't really make up my mind about which size I want to get, so I'm going to get all three, I think. 200 by 60 here, 120 by 60 here, 100 by 60 right here. This morning's project is very quick and very simple. I have masking tape, I have tape measure, so without further ado, let's measure out everything that I need to measure so the desks are like marked out on the floor. Does that make sense? Let's do it. It looks like it's not gonna work. I'm gonna need a plan B. Masking tape does not stick to a floor, which is dusty. I'm gonna need some- <laughs> That took a long time. <laughs> 6.30 in the AM, two deaths drawn out. And I think this morning has been successful. Now, I did plan to get three of these deaths done, but, um, it's 6.30. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not that much awake. Overhead shooting rig, all drawn out. Main desk, drawn out, kind of. I mean, I messed up a little bit. But right now, it's time for breakfast. <laughs> This is a map of the UK. And I live here. I'm travelling from here to somewhere over here. This here is a four hour journey. Let's get ready. Blanket and the rucksack. Later. 10.55 in the AM and it's time for a little break at service station. I can't remember the last time I went to Starbucks. You can't see me. I'm gonna eat some food. Oh. And I've lost the family. All finished. Now let's carry on with the journey. Eventually. I have arrived at the funeral and I can't take in any cameras whatsoever. Time for a funeral. I'll catch up with you peeps very soon. 8.35 in the PM and I'm finally back here in the studio. Still trying to work out a good name. But look what's arrived. Before I open that letter from Tesco's, it's time for a story time. Today's story is going to be titled, uh, the awkward things about being transgender at a funeral. Bear with me. Now today's funeral was for my mum's uncle's wife who I didn't really know at all and I don't think I've met them ever in my life. Now at the funeral there was a lot of family people that I did know like my mum was there, my dad was there, my auntie, my uncle, my mum's cousins were there and my mum's uncles and aunties were there. I knew the majority of those but there was one person in particular that this story is about. Now my family is fairly elderly and when I came out all of my family weren't told at one go because no one knew how they were going to react. So my parents told one person, 
and if it was okay with them, then we'll go on to the next person. That method really does work. But today at the funeral, there was this one person who I think is my grandma's... Well, I don't know. They're related to my grandma somehow. By about three connections away. I really don't know. Now there I was, next to my mum, and this lady came up to my mum and said the following phrase. How are your two boys? My mum looked at me. I looked at my mum. My mum then said, Funny you should say that. This is Hannah. Hi! And then the lady replied, Oh, nice to meet you. My mum, thinking that conversation had come to an awkward end, walked away while I just trailed behind. The lady then said, Oh, you're Hannah. Nice to meet you. Like, literally, she just said that again. Me being me was just like, yeah, hi, nice to meet you. I've known you since I was, like, two years old. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, things really do still happen to me like that. And if you're ever in that awkward situation where you meet a family member that doesn't know you're out, but the rest of your family kind of does know you're out, just be upfront with them. Always be proud of who you are. That wasn't there before, was it? It's absolutely ch So tomorrow I am meant to be making a video for a company called Jekka. And for the last two hours, I've been trying out their new website. I'm not allowed to say it in the vlog quite yet. They just wanted a quick, easy promotional video. However, I'm not doing it tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm doing something else, I think. Uh... But long story short, that's what I've been doing for the last two hours. All meetings are over, all emails are over. I've got a letter. And it's right here. I am very sorry to learn that the Velcro you purchased did not stick. I ended up using Gorilla Glue. And I understand how frustrating this must have been for you. Oh, I, I am, I am triggered. I am like, oof, oof. We aim to provide the best customer service experience possible at all times. It's very disappointing that you weren't in game. As a gesture of goodwill, I have enclosed a five pound. I said it once and I'll say it again. Tesco's. This is very unnecessary. Next time, just make better Velcro. I'm shook, 100% shook, but thank you. But I'm gonna wrap this thing up. So thank you peeps for watching and remember as always, a like, a comment and subscribe. Subscribe, I said that right, did I? I, I don't know. And on that note, good bye. It's time to say goodbye.